This is episode two of Snap Soap. In her 2002 interview, Julia said she had a bad feeling after talking to Theo at the 1999 homecoming game at Abbott College. She couldn't think too long about it, though, because a thunder shower passed over. Folks ran out of the stands and into the stadium hallways, spilling beer and ketchup everywhere. Julia spotted Zoe from the Forensic Science Club and turned away. But Zoe walked up anyway. I thought you thought these games were stupid, Zoe said. Julia replied, Avelyn asked me to critique her. It's a big night. Apparently. Oh, I saw her, said Zoe. She and Theo were arguing by the drink stand before halftime. Really? What about? asked Julia. Zoe said, I couldn't hear over the announcer. I just saw Avelyn throw her drink at Theo and run to the bathroom. Julia grew concerned. She said, her mom gave her that water bottle. It was the same one her mom had when she was head cheerleader. Zoe cringed. Her parents could afford a new water bottle. Kind of gross, if you ask me. Julia snapped, good thing I didn't ask you. Did Theo follow her? Zoe huffed. You're never this interested in anything in the club. And here we go, sighed Julia. Julia started to walk away, but Zoe grabbed her arm and said, For the hundredth time, I'm sorry, Julia. I'm not the enemy. Julia said, The only person I trust right now is Avelyn. She's 100% honest. People started to rustle about, reacting to a disturbance near the girls' bathroom. Zoe said, I'm always looking out for you. Why are you still angry? Zoe hesitated before saying, You're not even in the system anymore. Julia gruffly turned away to look towards the disturbance. Zoe pleaded, Please don't shut me out again. Please forgive. Julia pretended she didn't hear Zoe's plea. She started to push towards the bathroom. Although she couldn't handle Zoe's emotions right now, she was glad to get the clue about why Theo was so angry. Suddenly, a scream! Julia used her elbows to create a passageway through the crowd. When she reached the edge of the crowd, she saw a security guard and a young and handsome police detective. The detective was walking away with his arm around a girl. She was crying. The security guard was trying to push the crowd back from the bathroom. Julia saw Drew Marizvinsky. Drew knew everything about everyone and reported on it in the Abbott Thresher campus newspaper. Julia asked Drew, why is that girl crying? What's going on? Drew stopped writing in her notepad and said, Congratulations, Rooney. Your club has a real forensics case to crack, and not a fake one to endure when you could be doing more interesting things. Julia was confused. What do you mean? Julia said. And there's no reason why you can't call me Julia right now. The bathroom door swung open as another cop exited. Julia saw a girl lying on the floor in a stall in a blood-soaked cheerleading outfit. Is that Avelyn? asked Julia. Drew turned to Julia. I'm going to be in your club meeting tomorrow. She put her hand on Julia's shoulder and looked into Julia's eyes. If I don't see you there, 
I'll know why.